Marvel, and to a greater extent, NERDS! Love categorizing shit. <laughs> Typically that argument starts with which character is more powerful than the other one. It's an argument you've heard since exposed to human language and any sort of comic based fandom. So when it comes to the kinds of people that occupy the Marvel Universe, there's tons of categories for that. Excuse me. There's literally hundreds of species that occupy the Marvel Universe. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? But today we're just going to be talking about what exactly a mutant is and what exactly a mutate is and why they're different from the typical humans such as you and me. Let's start off with mute. There's actually a variety of different mutants both on Earth or otherwise. For example, the big purple boy that everybody loves to hate, um... Piccolo? No. Thanus? Thanos, yep, that's the one, is actually a mutant. Just not the same kind of mutant we're going to be discussing now. Yes, the Marvel Universe is this pedantic, and I'm sorry for just finding that out. To distinguish the mutants that are typically found on Earth, they would have had to been born with something called the X gene. While the placement of where the X gene lives in your DNA and what sex carries the gene are usually in flux, meaning its explanation changes from writer to writer. What we do know is that unlike other genes in your DNA, the X gene becomes activated at some point in a mutant's life. This activation varies from mutant to mutant. Some mutants have even displayed their abilities from within the womb. There are even cases of something called secondary mutations within the Marvel Universe. To put it simply, this is when an already established mutant character will then suddenly develop new or vastly expanded powers. Now that we know a little bit more about the X gene and how it operates within a mutant's body, let's talk about where it comes from. So when two people really like each other and decide to... Oh. Stop! You violated the law! That's for a different video. <coughs> a child carrying the gene can be born from mutant parents, non-mutant parents, or a combination of the two. For example, one of the weirder cases of this is... Adam the Extreme! And he's the child of an emperor of an alien Shi'ar empire, aka Spacebird people, and... Scott Summer's mom? I'm not gonna get into the how or why that happened in this video, maybe in a later video if you wanna hit that subscribe button. Now that we know how mutants are, um... <coughs> Made. Let's look at how mutates are made. Mutates are actually a little bit more complicated than mutants that carry the X gene. You see, mutates can be created through a wide variety of means. A mutate is basically a human being that has had their genes manipulated and then manifested superhuman abilities. This doesn't even necessarily have to be a human being, but for the sake of keeping this video short, we'll just stick to human mutates. Mutates in the Marvel Universe include people like Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the Hulk, Daredevil, Deadpool, and so many more people. Believe it or not, there are even some gray areas where some hardcore fans will argue who exactly is a mutate and who isn't. A real good example of this is none other than good old Cap. Steven Rogers got his famous strength and agility from the Super Soldier Serum, aka the blue Marvel juice that everybody in the Marvel Universe tries to create that also owns an army and a handful of scientists. Now the argument stems from whether the serum altered his genetics in any way, or did it simply add exceptional muscle mass to his originally wimpy body frame. If you know some more examples of people that live in this gray area who may or may not be a mutate, feel free to put it in the comments. Anyways, I'm going to get off this tangent, seeing as how there's more Marvel and DC content heading to this channel. As always, I hope you survived this video. <laughs>